Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I have another unboxing for you. Uh, this comes uh, from a, another YouTuber, uh, Backwoods Bo. He has a uh, channel uh, titled uh, Ramblin' Backroads, uh, where he and uh, Ramblin' Ra, his, uh, his lady, uh, go on adventures and uh, just see what all the world has to offer. Um, I, I really enjoyed the channel simply because he comes from a smaller town, uh, he visits smaller towns, um, and I love small towns, just the look and the aesthetic of a small town. Uh, they're just, you know, beautiful and cute and it, all you can ask for of a small town. And uh, a lot of them do their best in most cases to, you know, stick with a, a classic vibe just around town and city squares, things like that. Um, they also do things like antiquing, uh, you know, working on cars, things like that. So I, I love, I, I'm a sucker for an antique shop. Um, and, uh, you know, I enjoy watching other people getting their hands dirty, not so much mine, but uh, I've been known to do it a time or two, uh, literally just a time or two. So we're going to see what's in this box. Frankly, it could be anything. A uh, pair of old rusty brake pads, uh, uh, a rotor maybe, who knows. Uh, so we're going to dig into this, bust out the bug and see, uh, see what we got here. I hope everyone's doing well out there, staying safe and uh, warm as of now. Uh, I'm in Tennessee and it, it, we can't make up our minds if we want to be warm or cold. It was almost 70 the other day and today it's not quite there, but um, you know, it's chilly. It's pretty, it's pretty chilly, a uh, bit of a nip in the air. But I am just going to uh, stick my hand in here and just start pulling stuff out. Have no clue what's in here. Um, maybe a giant rubber spider. We'll see. And starting out, we have VHS tapes. Uh, this whole box would be full of VHS tapes, and I will be ecstatic. Ecstatic? I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Uh, first, we have... Swamp Thing, the Unman Unleashed. So I remember this cartoon growing up, and uh, there was also a live action TV series, I do believe, but I remember uh, this, and there was also a Toxic Avenger cartoon series uh, that probably equally is, you know, out there. But I, uh, I look forward to uh, definitely checking this one out. Uh, that'll that'll take you back right there. <laughs> I actually I had this next one as a kid, and I don't know what happened to it. I probably lent it to somebody, and I've always wanted to check it out since then. And so this is just awesome. And oh, that's even cooler. I forgot about that. The uh, I'll show that in a second. But it's uh, Dragonflies, The Legend Begins. Uh, yeah, I I remember this. The last time I watched this, I remember I was in, I think I was in middle school. And uh, my dad had to work. And he brought me into his work with him. And I did some homework while he was doing uh, a bunch of different, you know, tasks and whatnot. But... Uh, I, I remember having this on in the background while I was doing my homework, but it came with, uh, uh, was it, uh, a lenticular cover? If you can see that it, I don't know if it comes up as well as it does on camera as it does face to face, but that is, that is pretty cool. But yeah, I, I had this when I was younger and I, couldn't tell you what happened to it. So then again, I have quite a few things that are like that. So here we go. Digimon the movie. Um, I never, I don't think I ever watched Digimon. The, I know I played the, the, there was a card game 
And I had a friend who just any and every card game that he could get himself into, he would. And I remember, I no, it wasn't Digimon. It was, um, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! or something like that. But, uh, or it may have been Digimon. Or I think Digimon may have been a video game. I don't know. Either way, um, I do remember hearing about this. So I'll definitely have to check this one out. It kind of looks like a cross between Pokemon and something else. But... We'll definitely have to give it a, a watch. And it was, uh, if y'all remember, yeah, Fox Kids, the, uh, they had a lot of stuff like Eek the Cat, and, uh, they did the Tasmanian Devil, uh, TV show. They had, they had that and a few other things, like Power Rangers would come on after school back in the day, so. The next one is... I never saw this one. I, I do remember um, somebody I knew uh, loved this movie. And there was a scene in it. Um, I, I guess they're, they're, it's just to let you know, it's Chicken Run. But there's a scene in it where they're talking about becoming pies or something like that. And one of them's like, but I don't want to become a pie. And uh, that, that's all I remember from it. So I, I look forward to actually checking this one out. The, I think uh, the people who did this also did Wallace and Gromit. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Roger Ebert gave it two thumbs up, so you know it has to be good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then again, Roger Ebert and I did not uh, really come eye to eye when it came to to some movies he was he utterly hated david lynch and i love him uh i think with the exception of maholland drive he hated all his movies but uh i've i've rather enjoyed them but uh but yeah it says uh from the creators of wallace and gromit so i look forward to checking that one out for sure let's see here Ooh, we got a few more <laughs> godzilla with matthew broderick I remember seeing this one in the theater. Uh, I went with my brother and my aunt. Uh, and I remember Taco Bell at the time had a big Godzilla campaign going on. And we were walking around our local mall. And we were in... What music store was it at the time? I think it was when Blockbuster tried to get into the, the music game. And they had Blockbuster music. But we were looking around and some guy decided to steal some sunglasses and like grabbed a pair and ran out of the store. That was back when like, I, I guess they had security guards that cared at malls and they would chase after you. But uh, he stole a pair of sunglasses, uh, knocked my aunt over and uh, made his way out. So I don't know if whatever came of that, but I remember seeing this in the theater. Uh, I, the only thing I remember uh, is... I remember Matthew Broderick in it. I remember there was a close-up of a, a man in a bed. Uh, the, the, it zoomed in, and he kept on saying Godzilla. That, that's pretty much all I remember. Uh, something maybe about worms and electricity. I don't know. I may be thinking about the wrong movie. But I, I definitely look forward to uh, giving this one another go. Um it's been years since I've seen this. I think I caught maybe a few minutes of it on, what's the, um, I watch antenna television. It's my preferred TV viewing. Um, but they have Comet, the, the Comet channel, which is like the antennas version of sci-fi. And uh, they'll play movies like that or killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> Here's another awesome one. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, I remember renting this from, I believe it was Kroger at the time. Kroger used to rent videos and they had a pretty big video rental area. Rented this on a Friday or Saturday night. It was one of those two. And I remember my neighbor 
came over and he stayed the night and we, we stayed up watching this over and over again. Had, uh, I'm terrible with, uh, actresses' names or actors and actresses' names, but, uh, the, the lady who played Sonya Bladen here, uh, everyone I knew at the time had a, a crush on her. Bridget Wilson, maybe? I don't know. But, but yeah, this, <laughs> this is a great movie. Uh, my brother was obsessed with the Mortal Kombat films growing up, and then somehow that transferred from Mortal Kombat to the Titanic, and <sighs> when you've seen Titanic played about 157 times, I, I think you understand my frustration there. All right, and I've been wanting to get one of these for some time now. It is a uh, it's a VHS rewinder, so that'll definitely save uh, the uh, the rewind strength uh, on my VCR because I, I know that they suggest while rewind is a like a speed rewind is a feature for VCRs, especially now since you can't just go to Walmart or someplace and pick one up. Um, rewinders are definitely a uh, sought after commodity when it comes to prolonging the life of your VCR. And uh, I do love VHS. It is, uh, it, it, it's just uh, one of my favorite mediums to, to watch a movie on. But yeah, I think just, I used to watch so many movies growing up when I was a kid that, uh, you know, it just always kind of stuck with me. And I've always been a, a movie buff, even though I'm terrible at things like remembering actors' names and whatnot. But the, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put Bo's card up here. We got uh, the Ramblin' Backroads card. And I'm going to put his YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, hopefully y'all check it out. Uh, he actually did, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that all this came from that box that he did. But uh, he did this huge, like insanely huge VHS haul that somebody had just boxes of VHS they didn't want anymore. Uh, I think he got them for free, or if he paid for them, he paid nothing for them, just about, I'm sure. But um, but he did a video of it. Now, I'll link that video below, as well as his the link to his channel. But uh, Ramblin' Backroads there, and then got the other information right there. So, you know, if, if you're into this kind of stuff, definitely check him out. Um, I, I do get a kick out of a lot of his videos. He recently uh, picked up a, a windmill that, that he's going to to put somewhere on his property. There is a uh, local retirement home uh, that got bought out by a bigger corporation, and they were doing away with a lot of the stuff on the property, and they had this giant decorative, like a legit windmill. And, you know, he had a video of them, like, taking that down and taking it back to his house. So, um, I mean, I, I love his videos. They're fun to watch and it, it's each one's a little adventure all on its own. So, um, anyway, Bo, thank you very much for the awesome box. I definitely look forward to checking these out. Uh, most of all that dragonflies one <laughs> that, uh, that one's been on my mind for a while. And, uh, I've looked at, <clears throat> I've looked, got, uh, dust in my, dust in my mouth and I'm breathing it all in but um but I, I've tried looking on eBay and stuff like that and I, I found it a couple of places but never pulled the trigger so I'm excited to, to get in that one and just you know let nostalgia come over me and really get into these so Bo thank you again Bo Ra thank you um definitely look forward to checking out more of your adventures um anywho if you like this video and want to see more of it get that box out of the way stop on by give this video a thumbs up throw down something in the comments below 
uh, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, let you know when I have new uh, videos on the way. And uh, as always, be good to one another, and I will see you next time.